Hello traders, Ritz here and welcome to Kukun S episode 30 and today we are going to go over KCS analysis. As usual, if you don't know about KuCoin, it's one of the largest crypto exchanges in the world with over 700 billion traded volume on the platform and 10 million registered users from more than 200 different countries. KuCoin has many features like margin trading, spot trading, mining pool, trading bots, staking, lending and many more with over 700 listed coins if you don't have an account yet i'll make sure to attach my referral link in the description below and if you create an account through it you will benefit from 20 percent discounts on your trading fees so as usual let's get started and cheers as we clearly see, KCS has been trading or ranging around the 9 to 10 support zone. It has been acting as a support previously, resistance and support multiple times. We are currently inside a range. We can see it better from daily time frame. So of course, we'll be trading the range upward and downward until it's eventually broken upward or downward for the bulls to take over we need to see a break above the 11.5 we'll also see it better from daily time frame if we break it upward we would be also breaking above the upper brown trend line in this case we'll be expecting a long-term bullish movement on kcs at least till our next resistance zone which as you can see around the 15 14 to 15 now in parallel if we break it downward below the nine and below this previous major low which would be like a symmetric triangle and so if we break it downward we'll be expecting further bearish movement till around the five to six support zone as you clearly see if you zoom into daily time frame we can see the range even cleaner as mentioned from daily if we break it upward we'll be expecting long-term bullish movement if we break it downward below the nine and below this low we'll be expecting a trend continuation because we are clearly overall bearish trading inside this big wedge pattern from daily and weekly time frame for now if you remember previously we were looking for bus stops here after this break we then looked for bus setups here and then bus setups here right anyway i'll show it to you or you can check my previous analysis here on YouTube or on Trading View. So we entered a buy here and then on the retest of it, because like we took profit around the 10, if you remember, we had the projection like this and then the bears took over for a correction and then the bulls took over for an impulse. We are currently bullish from a medium term perspective trading inside this rising broadening wedge, as you can see in blue. And we also looked for a buy here and a buy here, as I showed you previously. Uh, last week, or like a couple of days ago, I posted this one. We are trading inside this uh, symmetric, like, like if you want, like, like a wedge pattern or a channel, broken that upward and then traded higher. We are currently also retesting this lower band again. So we'll be following the same logic. That's it waiting for this to happen a new swing high and then a break above it for the bulls to take over and start the next impulse movement which would push kcs till around the 11 and 11.5 which would be our trigger from the long-term perspective so around this area will be also like checking price action marking closely to see if we will get a correction before the bulls take over or would have the break Meanwhile, for now, let's take it step by step right here, waiting for this to happen and break above it, a new swing high, and then a break above this high and above this channel. Meanwhile, we are bearish from a short-term perspective, and if we have a daily or or at least h4 or daily candle close below this area, in this case, the bears would take over from a medium-term perspective, because now they are bearish from a short-term. Medium-term, in this case, will drag like 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 casey as lower it would also mean that bitcoin is breaking below the 20k again in this case we'll be expecting a bearish movement uh, for the entire crypto market once this happens then the next support would be around this previous major high broken upward or next if broken downward around the nine and this lower area but for now let's take it step by step overall bullish waiting for the boost to take over to buy KCS unless we break it down we will be expecting further bearish movement till this zone. Best of luck and I will see you on the next one.